Here's a time lapse video of the most recent voyage of the Australian Antarctic Division's RSV Aurora Australia. It's 64 degrees south. Okay. So as this escapes here, you're going to see that's the sun going down at 7.30 p.m. And then you watch the time and the ticker. And you'll also see some very quick action right at the beginning. That they're basically... And we've got scientists out on the ice checking this out as far as they can get down there. And you got to slow it down and catch the action yourself, but you will see the mass go by. In the p.m. hour and come up in the a.m. hour right next to the sun. So slow the footage down and have as much fun with this as you can. Because that's the way you slow it down. Put it on another video and you slow it down. So you'll be able to put this... You'll be able to play my video on the YouTube slider and slow it all down. Now remember, there are searchlights right here. Okay, so they, when you see some light action out there, they're basically... But at this point in time right here, that is not. And let me go give you another little look at what that is. And that is 7 p.m. Let's go see what we got for a time on a shot that I caught of... I was over at Bruce Island, and there's no searchlight there that I know of, okay? And the most important thing is if you go through the time slots on these, uh, I just go one back, and you can see this, whatever it is, coming up in the shot. Uh-huh, see? It's an evening, so it probably should be the moon, but we're going to go to World War Telescope, and we'll find out about that, Okay. Because it's not there in this shot, these two hours before. Okay. So, and as we basically go forward, I can just back up. Boom. And boom. This should be the shot. And now you will have the reflection. You do have the reflection from inside the building coming out. But then you do have that showing up too. Okay. And that's not off the building. As you can see, that's just coming from the control room there. Okay, the window outside. Normally you'll see some walruses here. And I'm not positive or not, but this could be some walruses here. I'm not sure, but usually there's some walruses hanging out. And down on the Antarctic, we have a pine point three just off the coast. Quite a ways off the coast, but as you can see, there's Australia, and then we have these quakes. And pretty much everything is no lower than like a 4.7 4.4 there excuse me recent you can see where I have my slider at on the on the quakes so I'll get the earth spinning in the right direction and I can also widen it out and bring up more quakes and then you'll see the big uh, really getting on the hammer here over in Puerto Rico that I told you about it's getting hammered all the time and I can bring the, the bar down, the recent bar down again. And I'll bring the slider around. And there's Puerto Rico getting all that action. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. And I can bring the slider up. And then we'll bring in more stuff. And that's a big one that was in Chile. That big footprint there. And then I can bring in all the quakes in the last, I'm not sure how many, 14 days, I think. So this is going to be like 14 days of where the quake's coming around. And as you can see, Alaska's got a bunch of action up there. That 7 point, whatever, 4, I think. Very large up there. So, and all these quakes are real, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, it shouldn't be more than 14 days on here. And yes, the United States is coming around. You're going to see what's been going on. And there's that Puerto Rico region that just rains down with a heap of them. So, the gulch is busy. Because there is, there's a big, 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 big gulch out there below Florida and between there. So check out all those numbers. Just continuous. So, and it makes people get kind of worried on the United, because those are all quakes are in Puerto Rico, folks. A little bit of it is from Brazil, 
tied in there. But as you can see, and then it's that big 7.3 footprint there of this big quake here. And watch my last video because it has the latest. Uh, and this was basically a 7.8, considered to be a 7.8. So hopefully it's a good stress relief from all that stuff that's going on there in Puerto Rico. And yes, that's the United States there. And then we'll slide down on the quakes on that. And then you got to watch my last video because it shows all the East Coast United States quakes that basically USGS and this earthquake viewer really doesn't show you too much. Okay? Because you're not even seeing the North Dakota one pop up on there. See what I'm saying? Or did they actually put the 3.3? Oh, what do you know? It made it right there. The 3.3 made it on the map. Okay, but you don't see the East Coast stuff and or the Hudson Bay stuff. Because the Hudson Bay was recent, okay? And Hudson Bay, you can't miss it because it's huge, okay? There's nothing up here at Hudson, and also British Columbia had one over here. So watch the video before this one, and basically drugs, because basically someone was being a smart ass. Soft carrots. Anyway, it's gonna be try to, pretty stupid to try to. I'm gonna have a good lawsuit if anybody's trying to uh, defamate my character. I guess deface my character. They just want me to get my face on the screen somewhere so that they can try to make an ass out of me. Because basically we know a bunch of stuff that NASA and the government and power and control don't want you to see, and propaganda covers up. So you got a 5.3 down there, Antarctica, the most fresh. And we'll hit now. We'll see if anything changes. That means a green dot would disappear, but I just click now, and that should be still the latest and greatest. Or actually, the 5.3 disappeared. So we've got a new quake somewhere on Earth. Just as we checked. And like I say, that big drag down of numbers is Puerto Rico. So now to find out the latest quake real fast, we'll reduce... On here, and we get over it, and there we got another 3.4 right back in Puerto Rico, Virgin Island area. Okay, so as that string keeps on banging, uh, the gulch, or I'm actually saying it wrong because basically it's the big uh, trench. Yes, the Mariana Trench. Thank you, big brother. So, anyhow, that's that big long string of quakes. And that big footprint is a 7.3 that basically was a 7.8 that Chile had. And I have to drag it around again because it's just very wild how much is actually at Puerto Rico there as it comes up. Check that string out that comes around. That's a lot of quakes in one spot. So they got to be getting pretty much used to having their ankles shaken by now. So, and like I say, the most, the most recent quake right there is the 3.4. Over there in Puerto Rico, Virgin Island area. Okay, and I showed you the 5.3 on the bottom. Okay, so more action as the Earth spins. It's a good good signs from it finally falling into the B area here, getting off this C action that's been going for a long time. It did this little spike here, and then it's calming down. So but remember, B is still very high, also, folks. So the sun is still doing what it's doing. And let's go up and see what we got going on for any cross phasing again and see that we're looking, we're calming down a little bit. But as you also see, there was some CME action that hit the uh, data recorders on the satellites. And it's going to be interesting to see too if anybody came up with any good footage of what possibly that the International Space Station just barely avoided because it was supposed to be in some bad action and also these satellites of that CME action out there in space. And as you can see, broke up pretty good they lost signals for a little bit of time but it's good to see the sun not cross phasing what we've seen uh, recently every time we see that it's a little bit a little bit and then as you see the big scatter as it tries to calm itself down this is somewhat calm and moving away from this that that sea action so but at the same time we get breakup of feed from cme action so and we got a reverse spike there on the radio flux. So we'll go up and see what they've actually got listed. And that's your recent from them map. Puerto Rico again. 
Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico area. The Canadian deal graphish looks like it to calm down. Once again, that's going to be your high quake area again. And there your rural action tail is wagging pretty good, and the north is off slightly to the east right now. So as our eyeball is going through space and our ass end, we are going at a unusual more than 66,000 miles through space. And there you go with a fresher shot of the sun, fresher shot of the sun, some stuff they don't want you to see. Uh, and I think we probably found that if you go back two or three videos and watch mine, I show you what's going on from the actual Sechi shots. And we weren't, that's where we're not getting any videos right now. And solar wind speed is climbing a little bit, slightly getting up to 400 again. So let's go down to do an active. Geometric field is quiet because it's quieting down out of those seas. And we'll go down to the graph here. And there's a CME going directly north off the sun, you would think, because basically we're over here, Earth, north, and south. So even when we look at it from Earth, it's pretty much going from off the sun to the north. That one will not give us any action. But we are going to probably receive some action off the tail of this one here. This one right here. Watch this coming around. We're possibly going to get some action off of that tail. I'm catching the wrong one. Basically, this one here, watch this tail. We might get some action from that getting close to Earth. So, but otherwise, for now, we should be receiving what the last tail I showed you that was pretty much the same area but closer, and we should get a brush of it. So, things are looking good for now. Hopefully, it'll keep farting that way now in any way except for not directly here on earth because that's earth right there see yep all right so so let's go check out the, this object area so when we go to this the only thing that's sitting there at that low is, is these objects here and the only thing i can find that's really because this is the sun's trajectory in line, that's not the sun at that time, 2200, okay? And you figure it's to the north. I'll find out what direction. Procyon is the only thing I know that low. The only other thing is Bellatrix. And so my best is guess is it's either Tegulus or Bellatrix. Tegulus or basically this would be my best guess right here that it's bellatrix because they're very bright so you're getting another good example of how what is showing up down at the south pole stars that are hella far out they're hella bright right now because we are closer to the super giants than we've been in ages and this would have been up high arcturus but that's also in the super giants also so very bright stars from way the hell out in space showing up. Damn it. Altair is also in the supergiants. So, the supergiants again, supergiants main sequence stars showing up down there in Antarctica. I.e., this photo and also what I showed you off the ship that would have been up in the height at uh, 7 p.m. time. Okay? And this was at 2200 hours, and if you see the time and the coordinates, everything that I had on. Worldwide telescope. This all should, should be correct. Current time, because basically UTC time is like an hour difference from what they're showing. I think they're showing GMT time right now or whatever. So this is now, as I can click that. Okay. So basically, and that was a recent shot. So there you go. And this is the coordinates for it. And I put it only at uh, like just very short meters. I put six meters, so six feet up in the air. You're looking. So and that was low. So the idea that pretty much what it should have been. Amongst all the earthquakes lately, that is the freshest one there in Puerto Rico. Alright, so stay safe. And yes, the amount of fires around the world right now is incredible. Go to uh, inter IntelliCast and check it out. Also NASA has a site. A lot of fires around the world, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of fires around the world. 
to the Wild World, folks. Check out the last.